Kamikaze Ken, you think you're the big dog around here now. You had your big TV shot. You got on national TV. You did whatever you had to do. But let me tell you something. Tonight, I'm going to do what I have to do, and that's take your TV title away from you and show you what champs are all about. You're running around here, ACW, thinking you're, you know, all this and all that. I don't even know it because it doesn't matter to me. All I know is I'm from MPW. I came over here. I'm going to take your title and the heck to all you ACW fans. Do you think you're the Midwest ass-kicking machine right there is what ass-kicking is all about? Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here, or as I'm known in the hip-hop community, P-Rod. I'm here with Rough Rider Rashawn. Rough Rider, you're taking on Adrian Lynch, a heavy hitter in ACW. How are you approaching this match? Man, what kind of bogus question is that? I'm just going to beat him down thug style with all the thugs across the nation. Feel me, dog. I'm going all out. There you have it. Rough Rider Rashawn going all out. Got it going on all the way live for your Saturday night on UPNWQ. It's All-Star Championship Wrestling. Matt Byron and Doug Coffin here along Lane Springside and returning to active duty. We kept the chair nice and greasy for you. He's back. Angelo Porkchop Stefan. What up, dog? Not much up. I'm just here to breathe some life back into this broadcast because I know you guys miss me and you can't live without me. So here I am at your convenience. Yeah, Stefano, we... you're so much cooler than I am. Uh, my closed captioning isn't turned on. What was Rough Rider Rashad talking about? Well, he was speaking the uh, little known language of jive there, and I think he was just saying how he was going to try his hardest to win this darn match. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure. But I thought I'd turn to you. You're down to the hip hop community. Oh, I speak several different languages. Angelo Stefano is funky fresh as we see Adrian Lynch. So lovely. Alexis and the uh, the mullet from Minnesota, as they've been called by so many ACW fans. Midwest Pro Wrestling is in the house, and I'll tell you what, guys, we may not understand what Rough Rider has to say all the time, but when he's inside that ring, he speaks a very deadly language. We call him the Ghetto Fighter. He can come up with any variation of offense, pretty much at will. This guy is double tough. I think we both agree. Well, he's going to have to be really tough tonight as he goes up against former ACW champ. Adrian Lynch tonight here at the watering hole. Rough Rider Rashawn, up and coming star, but uh, he's got his hands full. Not only has, does he have to deal with Adrian Lynch, but he's also got Alexis out there, and he's got MPW on his side as well. What a woman Alexis is. I can't wait for her to uh, show some leg and show her abilities in this match, and you know, show some leg in the match and abilities. You are creepy when you're horny, Mr. No, I'm not horny. I got a haircut yesterday. That's right. Rough Rider Rashawn firing up the crowd here at the watering hole. ACW action about to go down as uh, Jimmy Kennedy returns active duty. He's in the ring. He is the third man between these two competitors. You know, guys, every time I see Adrian Lynch hanging around with Midwest Pro Wrestling, this bunch of glory hounds, this bunch of back jumpers, it makes me sick because this guy was a great champion. I don't understand what the uh, hookup is with MPW either, man. I got to agree with you. You know, whether you're down with Adrian Lynch or not, the way he uh, conducts himself, he always has been the uh, champ, two-time champ of ACW. He's always been one of the consummate pros. And a couple of weeks ago, we saw when he threw his hat in with MPW, and I don't get it. Well, they're his buddies. Then there's nothing wrong with hanging out with your buddies at ringside. You know, they're there to support Lynch. There's nothing wrong with them being at ringside. And I just think it's great. I, I feel the love, and uh, people from Minnesota are really cool. I have no problem with them. You keep your love over there. Guys, I have a sort of theory about Adrian Lynch's newfound involvement. 
of MPW. Once he lost that belt to Hillbilly Hills, he needed to find a way to gain the attention, to gain a little bit of glory. The belt's underway after this one, as Rough Rider Rashawn is firing up the watering hole here against Adrian Lynch and, most importantly, against MPW. It is another big crowd here at the watering hole. As you can see uh, uh, here looking at the monitors, we've changed our venue a little bit, switched it around. I think it's good for everybody here, and it uh, looks terrific. It looks like Angela. You look terrific tonight, Angela. Well, I, I, know I, I know I do, and you should really stop falling in love with me. It's not going to do you any good because I'm very happy where I am in life right now. Well, if you know Alexis, I want to be near you when you get to hook up with her because I, I, like know, I know Alexis very well. I've cooked dinner for her many, many times. She's just never came over and eaten. How does Alexis compare to your mom? Well, I don't know. They're, they're both very talented in their own ways, but, you know, Mom, Mom supports me with a lot of money, so I can't turn my back on Mommy Dearest. When you were cooking the meal for Alexis, did uh, she order fries with it? Uh, no, actually, she <laughs> ordered a salad with uh, fat-free ranch on the side. <laughs> Up and over crisscross. Oh! Adrian Lynch going for some sort of best press there, but he just stopped for Fred Rashawn dead in his tracks. I don't know what Fred Rashawn was going for there. He's almost intimidated by Adrian Lynch in this contest, I might have to say. Would you be intimidated by Lynch? Who, oh, nice a, hip toss. There. He's an ex-champion. He, he, he would scare anybody, I can imagine. And he jumps out with his buddies, with the boys from MPW. Grab a break, that there. Sheriff John. Sheriff Johnny Emerald, the uh, rent a cop of the MPW crew, uh, getting into the faces of the watering hole patrons here. Rough Rider Rashawn, you can see on his face there, a very determined individual. And there's, Whenever, there's nothing wrong with Lynch taking a break. If Rough Rider Rashawn was doing it, you'd say in Jive he was rolling with the homies. So what's the problem? Yeah. Everyone's train of thought just sort of went south there, didn't it? Uh, let's get back to wrestling if we can here. Adrian Lynch in the center of the ring, obviously playing my games with this young man. One of the first graduates of the ACW Dojo of Pain. Six foot tall, 265 pounds. All sorts of skills. And we've seen it from week in, week out. With Rough Rider Rashawn, he can go up top. He can fight with Yama Mack. He's a very style from this young man. But right now, he's taking some hard right hands. Yeah, you know, you can do all the mat wrestling you want, but a couple of right hands to the side of the head will put you down. And if that doesn't work, just... You know, rake his eyes, pull his hair, do whatever you have to do. It's that deliberate offense that makes Adrian Lynch such an accomplished wrestler. He doesn't waste much energy. He's always on the offense whenever he can. Oh, come, come on. Back. Oh, speaking of offense. I can't believe it. Rashawn tripped on the ropes. What a klutz. I think you need to open up your eyes, get some glasses off the bottle. That was Alexis interjecting herself in this match. And oh, fired to the outside. And it's here comes the triple team. I can't, I can't believe it. He has dirt on his back, and the MPW is trying to help brush him off. This is beautiful. I love it. Oh, thanks for that. MPW uh, doing their dirty work on Rough Rider Rashad right now. We're going to see some more MPW dirty work coming up in just a few moments here on ACW as Kamikaze Ken Anderson defends ACW's honor against MPW's number one hitman, Shifty. Hello. Wow. I can't believe the fans would say that kind of stuff to Alexis. That is terrible. What some idiots. They have no manners. Usually you have to give her some money to, to call her that. I think she just, you know, the heck of it. Are you serious? She'll do that? <laughs> Bring along 25 for yourself. Yeah, you got to change to our annual. We're we'll going at it once again. Rough Rod Rashawn, he's sticking to Lynch's game plan. Just a few solid right hands there. Fires him off into the opposite buckle. Here comes Rashawn. Oh, catches that back elbow. That staggered. Rashawn and one big clothesline sends him down. Tell you what, I give Adrian Lynch all the credit in the world. He's got the experience right now, and he is putting it to Rough Rider Rashawn, and he throws him outside the ring again. And look out, here comes the double team. Oh! oh. oh she's going for a field goal. Look at her go. She's just... Oh! Takes a digger, does Alexis. She's just trying to help the guy out, and now the fans are getting on her case. These people in Wisconsin have no class at all. She's a little bit klutzy, though. They're calling her on that thing. Maybe helping me through the coordination. With a hand-eye uh, coordination there. And Adrian Lynch saves the damsel on the outside. Fires Rough Rider back into the ring. And once again, we talk about this guy that delivered offense. Going for the pin there. Count of one, count of two. Jimmy Kennedy counting down from third. But Rough Rider gets that you know, shoulder. You got Alexis out there. Three guys from MPW and Adrian Lynch on the inside. Stefano. It's live against one on this one. I don't see it that way at all. Right now, they're in the ring one-on-one. -on -one. This is completely fair. You guys should stop belly-aching about it. This is the clothesline there. Rupert Rashawn stops his track. There's those right hands again. One, two, three. I'll tell you what, we're used to seeing some fancy offense. And there it is right there. Spinning Sabat kick. 
Well done by the Rough Rider. ACW is fired up. The watering hole is fired up. Keeps them up. Hard slam. I think the door is going down. Going up top, don't take your time. And a win at this juncture in his career would really elevate, or elevate Rough Rider Rashad if he could hit his finishing maneuver here. As uh, MPW seems to be panicking on the outside for their... Uh, taking too long, taking too long. Trying to steady himself up there. Oh my God! Nailed with that big knee right in the face. But I don't know if he got the full impact he wanted. It might not be enough. Alexis on the ringside. She's up on the apron distracting Jimmy Kennedy. Not that that takes much. Rashawn looking to see where his love is. Oh my God, what a forearm to the back. I think that needs to the head. Made Lynch angry, guys. That well, he's put it to it. Now here comes the uh, triple team again. Three guys on the outside. Lynch takes all three of them out. Oh, his friends aren't going to be happy about oh. that. All three of the nice Minnesota MPW heads take a digger on the outside of the head from the water hole. He looks right back at the offense. Oh, my God. Wicked neck breaker. I think he's going to be out of this one. It's a three count. Adrian Lynch, the former champ, back on track. With his MPW buddies rolling to a victory. And even with the help from MPW and Alexis, Lynch survived the big blow from Rough Rider Rashawn and recovered long enough after taking the knee across the forehead of that inverted moonsault, and he gets the dupe. That's because he's an ex-champion. He knows what he's doing in that ring. He's no dummy, and he's got a great game plan. I love it. Great job, Lynch. That's the one for one, a cheap one from MPW. Coming up next, though, comes the Alexis. franchise, the heart and soul, all-star championship wrestling. Want me to introduce it to you? Yeah, ask her if she likes anyone at ACW like more than a friend. Okay. Watch the sit by the bell. Skateboarding is not a crime, but buying your gear at a place called Mart should be. Surf and Burn on Main is now a hardcore sponsor of ACW Wrestling, specializing in some of the most hardcore pastimes out there. With snowboards, skateboards, streetboards, music, video games, and DVDs, Surf and Burn has been corrupting young minds since 1988. Surf and Burn is the supermarket to the youth at 1277 Main Street, Green Bay. Hey, tough guy, this is an ACW breaking news update. Wrestling legend Hacksaw Jim Duggan is on his way to ACW. Hacksaw and his 2x4 will be in action on June 2nd at the Circle Tap in Denmark as part of a star-studded ACW TV taping. Plus, on June 16th, ACW continues its summer meltdown tour at the Kiwani County Fairgrounds in Luxembourg. Log on to ACWProWrestling.com for the latest. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with Kamikaze Ken Anderson. Ken, you're sort of ACW's uh, problem solver when it comes to MPW. Are you going to carry on that role versus Shifty tonight? So, Shifty, it wasn't good enough that I gave your little girlfriend a title shot. It wasn't enough that I was beating his ass all over the ring. It wasn't enough that you came out and tried to get me off of my game Guess what? I still came through victorious. One, two, three. So now you want to get in here and you want to dance with me. You want to play games with me. Well, guess what? Let me just fill you in on a little something. They used to kick my ass out of kindergarten on a regular basis. Because I don't play games. So, you're going to get in here and you're going to cause me to do something that I've been wanting to do to you for so long ever since I laid eyes on you, and that's peel them off. Five, that's what you're gonna get across your eyes. Not here, not here, right in this general area. Ball sheds, remember, the end always justifies the means. Hey, Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the fashion guru, Angelo Stefano. And Cujo. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like, Cujo, yet again, you are the victim of tomfoolery and chicanery. Hey, let me tell you what happened there. Shauna got the stuff, Stefano standing lip lock, 
and have the nerve to strike me and then strike Cujo? Is that broad out of her mind? Cujo, this is one guy you don't want to mess with, especially a dingy broad like Shauna. Tell him about it, Cujo. Shauna, I don't know what your problem is. Women were put on this earth for two reasons and two reasons only, and that's cooking food and making babies. And you've been down in that locker room for the last three months. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, Angelo! Oh, good job! Please, please, give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! And we oblige. And what happens? You slap us both, and all we were doing is giving you what was rightfully coming to you, and we can't even do that. So you want to get in the ring next time? You're going to get your ass beat down just like a man because here in the Stefano family we're all about the women's live movement he hates women I hate women and the GQ center folks we sure as hell know don't like women we are back to live action at their pre-tape interview with the professor but you know what Stefano after witnessing that I finally get to get with you on this one that was really revolting a couple of weeks ago, watching you place your gaping maw on the lovely Sean. No, oh, she loved it. She actually came and apologized. There won't be a 55 and a half page love letter of how much she enjoyed that, uh, you know, Stefano standing lip lock. Dude, oh. she's been freaking out for weeks. Oh, it's, all women love that. I'm, I'm a stud. It's, it's the truth. Here comes trouble right now. Yeah. The head of the MPW crew, a very accomplished wrestler, a very talented wrestler, with a very bad attitude someone who has a genuine hatred for all-star championship wrestling and this guy this guy needs to be put in check and maybe this is the man to do it this man is shifty and he's looking for a piece of acw most importantly he's looking to take out the heart and soul of the company we're talking about comic -Con. well adrian lynch might be the ringleader of mpw we saw this last week the kamikaze with the kenton bomb he took out sheriff johnny emerald well, guys you'll notice here in just a couple of moments there they came four on one five on one all after that left knee, a Kamikaze can. Here he comes. He is the franchise of this company. He is the heart and soul. He is the desire. And he is coming out at less than 100%. Well, Matt, it was a couple of weeks ago that Kamikaze Ken was uh, here at the table with us, and uh, they called him out. And it was five on one, and uh, Ken took him up on it. And uh, then he took on Sheriff John Emerald. And then he got uh, worked over two week, or last week. I gotta tell you, I don't think there's a good idea for Ken to go in here this quick after hurting that knee. You can see him limping right now. Well, I'll tell you what. Sometimes discretion's a better part of valor. Wait until your knee gets healed up before you go up against a guy like Shifty because, you know, it's not gonna be against him. We're gonna have five guys you gotta fight. Well, like I was saying before, Lynch might be the ringleader of MPW, but pound for pound, I think Shifty's the best wrestler they have in that stable. I mean, pound for pound, it helps to have five guys beating up one guy. I'll tell you what, one thing you can't get Kamikaze Ken to do is back away from a fight. It doesn't matter how many people are in it. It doesn't matter what kind of odds he's facing. It doesn't even matter if he's 100%. This guy loves the sport of wrestling. He loves ACW. And I talked to him earlier tonight, guys. He can't wait. Bad near no to get his hands on this guy, the ringleader of MPW Shifty. He can't wait to get his hands on the whole MPW syndicate. Right Kamikaze Ken's a jerk. I can't stand him. I was the rightful TV champion at one time, and he stole my title. What tell him you said? Uh, no, 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 no. It's okay. You know what is your deal? What is this undying hatred you have I can't for stand Kamikaze him. Ken? It's like the guy moving to your house and all your food or something, Angelo. No, it's not. I mean, I don't. I just don't like the guy. I don't have to. Ha I don't have to like the guy. I don't have to be like the rest of the fans and go. I hate him. I can't stand him. I hope he gets what's coming to him. Hey, if you're uh, tired of staying up late past midnight, past your bedtime for ACW, you have to set your VCR. How about seeing us live in person? Circle Tap, Denmark, coming up June 2nd. Oh! Hacksaw Jim Duggan's coming to town. Tough guy. Kiwani County Fairgrounds in Luxembourg two weeks later on uh, June 16th. They're about to lock up right now in the center of the ring. Shifty, Kamikaze Ken, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Jason Doreen's your referee for this one. A high-stakes TV title matchup, and they're tying each other up. Stefano, are you smoking in here? Look at all the smoke in this place. Yeah. No, it's just all the steam rising off because I'm hot. That was the broasted chicken, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Dude, I'm huge. Somebody light a candle. Ugh. Incense. A little knock chopper or something. They're tying up once again. Shifty, 215 pounds. Kamikaze Kenna at the wing at 227. Pretty evenly matched wrestlers. Experience wise, you gotta go shifty a little bit. Nice drop toe hold there. Sits out of it. Now grabs that arm lock. 
you know, it's a matter of time, guys, before Shifty takes advantage and goes after that left knee, that injured left knee in the top five. ACW Championship, Television Championship, on the line, Ken still wrestling in his T-shirt. We don't have a T-shirt, Stefano. I don't need a T-shirt. The people don't want to see me in a T-shirt. They love me all natural. <laughs> Man, it just gave me the release. Yeah, me too. Thanks for that image. Kamikaze again shoots him off, take that shoulder tackle from Shifty. He can't get all the balance in there. He can't plan himself, but he takes him in a nice Japanese arm drag. There's the drop kick. Hey, it doesn't matter if it's a nice, if it's a hurt knee or not. Kamikaze can't go in full board that offense. There's the boy, he's really kick. favoring that left knee right now. He's going to wear himself out. And maybe that's what Shifty was hoping for. Uh -oh. wear, wear Kamikaze down. There goes the shirt. Gentlemen, I think here comes the one, the two. Got one injury. Got a four. No! It's over five across the eyes, but Beautiful. Shifty counter. Beautiful counter. I love it. I've taken five across the eyes from Kamikaze Ken before. Oh, I bet you. It's no street, let me tell you. Numerous times we've seen that happen in ACW Ray. Shifty right back on that offense. Shoots him in with a reversal from a Kamikaze. Takes more of for the hip toss. Can't get that one. Look at that reversal. Nicely done by Shifty into a bulldog. Shifty's really got his A game on here. This is great. I think we possibly, possibly could see the demise of Kamikaze Ken here tonight. He's got to be over his dead body, though. Shifty is skilled. You've seen the guy in action for a few years now, Angelo. This guy is talented. But this guy has so much drive, so much desire. And I'm talking about our TV champion, Kamikaze Ken. It's going to have to be over his dead body. Right now, Shifty is in definite control here in this TV title match. And he's got it going by himself without Stallion, without Sheriff John, without Adrian Lynch, without Alexis. He's doing it one-on-one. -on -one. And if you're going to do it for a title, you might as well do it one-on-one -on -one find out who the better man is. He's completely against the more separate of New York Pro Wrestling. They've been used to their thug tactics, four-on-one, five-on-one, ever since they first stepped foot inside the watering hole. You've seen that from them. There's a boot by the Kamikaze. Look at it. 40. Oh, back elbow by Shifty. Up and over. Northern Lights. Northern Lights. He's got him. Caught it, too. Shifty's out of that one very quickly. Lotus up for random. Why are you speaking Hungarian for? That's one of the seven languages I actually don't speak. You understand I you Gulash. relate to Hungarian stuff. Oh, I like Gulash. I bet you do. Jason Green trying to get Shifty out of that corner. He's working on the Kamikaze. As of yet, we have not seen... Wow, big shot there. One more big right hand. We have not seen him go to work on that injured left knee. If they worked on a couple of weeks ago, you can bet that's just a matter of time. He shoots it in. Up and no! Sunset attempt! Look out, Shifty trying to get a face on the... What was that? I think the moon came out. No! Stefano. It's a good thing the GQ centerfolds aren't here right now. I never knew the moon had a crack down the middle. That was nauseating. I sit next to Stefano and I have to look at that. I don't know, guys. Hey, this is quality entertainment. I like it. I'm sure you would. Stefano put the dollar back in. They're working right now. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're going to come Up and get it. Right over now. big power slam. I'm trying to change this up as quickly as I can. Got a two. Almost a count of three. Kamikaze getting full motion on that body kick out of that one more left knee into the midsection. Listen to the fans trying to rally behind Kamikaze Ken. Watering holes fired up inside cradle. Takes over there, flying inside cradle. Almost got a three count, but quickly swept up by Shifty. Nice chain wrestling there, rolls him over. Wow. That is pure power, guys. Into the backslide. Dreams down. Count of one, count of two only, though. Beautiful, sweeping the leg. Shifty knows his one. game plan. Only a count of one. Reversal by a Kamikaze. He tries to crawl over. Count of one. Guys, this is just fundamental chain wrestling. It's going beautifully. There's a big close line from Shifty. It seems to me, and disagree if you want to, but I think Shifty is always one step ahead of Ken Anderson right now. Well, Ken Anderson, Kamikaze Ken's left knee is still bothering me. You see it. And uh, I'll tell you what, he's going up against the best that MPW has to offer right now. The ringleader, Shifty. And right now, Shifty with the advantage, putting the pressure on Kamikaze's head, leaning on him, cutting off the supply. Kamikaze can try to suck it up and get this water hole crowd behind him. This is what I mean when I say the franchise, the heart and soul of ACW. He feels it from these fans. He feels it, the love from this crowd. He thrives on it, and no one gives him a better show than Kamikaze. There's a big right hand. Stagger Shifty one more time. There's the right hand. 
John going on the third time. He sticks it right to the side of the head. And now here comes the Kamikaze. Big right hands in the corner. Okay, Shifty. Time to go up the new game plan. Things aren't going your way anymore. If you love Minnesota wrestling so much, Stefano, why don't you go with them? No, my mom doesn't want me to move out yet. I think oh! oh! Jason Doreen sandwich in between the two wrestlers. I think Shifty pulled him into it. No, yes, I didn't he did. that way at all. Doreen's not a very experienced ref. He's brand new, actually. He doesn't know what he's doing in there. Tried to take him over there. Got caught up. Takes him over into the Mission Oku driver. Kamikaze, there it is. He's going for Here the ten go. time, guys. Going up top. But there's not a rep. No one's to count this up. The watering hole's fired up. He's calling for it. You can feel the love in here. TV title holder's up. He's definitely going for that ten time ball. Oh, he hit it. But there's no one to count. Here comes Avery Lynch. 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 Lynch and Alexis are Lynch in ringside. They took the cup from the table, guys. Lynch will take care of this the right way, I promise. Typical MPW thuggery, typical crack and there's oh, a, oh yes. right across the face. Yes, he pasted him. I love it. He just waylaid him. That's 15 pounds of metal got put Shifty on top of him. And Adrian Lynch. It's gonna get cheap again, isn't it? Is this actually gonna happen? It's gonna get cheap again. Typical MPW cheap. Come on, Ken. Come on, Ooh. Kenny. television champion tonight, Shifty from MPW, in a great match until the last 20 seconds when Adrian Lynch and Alexis came in. And Shifty and MPW have taken a big fight out of the heart of the Star Championship Wrestling right here in our home turf, guys. But they had to cheat to get to it. Adrian Lynch. I love it. How tough is Kamikaze Ken now? Laying flat on his back, staring up at the ceiling, going, I wonder where my belt is. I must have got my butt kicked. Easy there, Tiger. I'll tell you what, ACW All-Star Championship Wrestling is going to rise up. They're going to have a response to MPW. Next week here, All-Star Championship Wrestling, Eric Hammer is going one-on-one with another MPW member, Black Stallion, Kevin Truger. It goes for Hillbilly Hills and the ACW World title. That's next Saturday night here on All-Star Championship Wrestling. Byron with Confidence Stefano. We'll see you next week on UPN 32.